Hi everybody, this video is for all those DAISY modders out there. Well, particularly console models who are kind of mostly working with XML and JSONs and particularly modders who have a problem with their server. So hopefully in this video I'm going to help you to figure out how to solve the problem when something goes wrong with your server. Now the first thing I'd say is always be sure that there is something wrong with your server. A lot of the time when people are playing around with their CFG spawnable types, the XMLs, to say spawn in pristine items or to spawn in say weapons with mags or silencers, they, they make the change, they upload the edited CFG spawnable type to the server, they do a restart and they spawn in and then they find a gun without a mag on or they find an item that isn't pristine and they go oh it's not working what you have to remember is the central loot economy in daisy takes a, quite a long time to churn through the changes to despawn things and respawn things so if you're not working off a fresh install it can take a take, can take quite a lot of time and each individual item has a lifetime that it needs to go through before it will despawn and then respawn for example as a pristine item or a gun with a magazine um, and every time people interact with items or sort of picking them up and doing that sort of stuff they extend that lifetime so in high volume areas of the map say around trying to or score electro it could be that you're left with say a gun without a magazine for quite a long time but so don't worry about that also remember that when the last survivor has left your server the server goes to sleep and that timer stops so for example if you're working on a local server where it's just you there's a chance that that stuff will never spawn in so you need to really start by wiping the server so that it's the pristine items or the guns that spawn in with mags straight away now i decided to do this video because i got a question off uh, one of my patreons about how to find the um vanilla the default uh, types that xml for daisy so we're going to cover that as well um, and i also realized that um, in my Daisy Modding Beginner's Guide um, playlist, which I recommend if you're new to Daisy Modding and you, you, you want to know where to start, I'll put a link to this um, playlist in the description below the video. I didn't really have a um, video about this sort of subject. I guess it should be the last one. So here we go. So the first thing we said, you know, make sure that you actually have a problem on your server. And the next thing I would say as well is you know, go into your server, uh, the, the online settings, and just do a restart. You'd be surprised at how many things can start, can, can sort out a, um, with a restart. Just restart your server and, and see what happens. If you're on console um, and you think you've messed up uh, your types.xml or your events.xml or CFG spawn, spawn types, anything like that, and you want to have an easy way of getting back to the vanilla files, Nitrado have given us an easy way in the settings on your server. If you just scroll down, you'll find a uh, little setting that says reset mission XML to default. So if you tick that and you save that and restart your server, all those edited files will go back to vanilla. Um, and so if you're in a situation where you've been modding your server um, and for example, say, let's say it just will not start anymore, it's in a restart loop or it keeps crashing, and specific, specifically for console this is, um, one of the things you can do is so that you can get people onto and enjoying and playing on their server again just reset the mission XML to default save it restart untick it and save it and at least people will be able to get onto the server to play also when you do this it doesn't wipe the server you know we, you know if we wanted to do that we would do a reinstall but this isn't doing that, that that's just, this is just changing the, the uh, XML to default so anything that has spawned in already say um, pristine items or guns with with magazines for example they will still be there after their life, lifetime goes through they will despawn uh, despawn and they'll be replaced by the vanilla items but at least you'll have a working server to play around with now on PC you don't have this option um, so what you'll need to do is you need to go to again I'll put a link in the description below this video go to Bohemia Interactive Daisy Central Economy GitHub and you'll click on this button here code download zip and that will download the latest central economy files and when you go into for example the daisy offline.chonerous plus folder you can dig down and you will find the vanilla types the xml and the events the xml you know all that sort of stuff um, so that's definitely worth um, uh, doing that way another thing you can do as well if you want to is if you have a local server set up on your computer and you've messed it up you could copy the vanilla files doing it that way the other thing you can do as well is if you open up steam 
and you go to uh, your library and go to the server and go to um, manage I'm gonna look go to properties sorry <laughs> and let me see yeah uh, local files then click on verify integrity of um, tool files and that will then check whether the files are all there and as they should be and this will then change them back to what they should be so that's something you can do with a local server and then obviously you could then upload those files back to um, back to your remote server however you do that whether it by a web browser or by FTP um, but I'd probably recommend doing it by getting the vanilla files um, and to be honest most of these problems that happen because people forget to validate their files before uploading them so again I'll put links in the description uh, below this video um, it's very important whenever you edit your files no matter how sure you are that you've done everything right validate your XMLs with XML validation validate your JSON with a JSON validator because I've lost count of the times when I've done what I thought was a very simple edit often just a copy and paste but I will have missed something you know normally it's an opening or closing bracket and then I'll upload it and I think well why didn't that work and spend like half an hour trying to figure something out when I go to validate it and the XML validator will say straight away look you've got um, there's there's an opening or closing bracket uh, missing from here just be aware that when you do use XML validators in particular some of the errors cascade so you may find that you the, there's an error a long way down the XML file or near the bottom that says you know you're missing a closing argument here but in fact the error is much further up so always go back to where you did the editing and do a visual check um, um, to, you know check it and then obviously use the XML validator to check that afterwards um, a kind of important part of it as well I think is using something like notepad plus plus I've just kind of thought of this so let me just open up a file in notepad plus plus now notepad plus plus is a simple text editor um, but it's better than using the this default text editor on your computer because it color codes things and if you do something wrong errors become much easier to see now I'm not saying that it will pick up the errors as you're typing but if you did something where you for example missed off a closing bracket you see how the, the colors change and you may well see that straight away so I would go with that right so there we go people hopefully that will give you some answers about what to do when your server doesn't work really try and decide is it really not working or do you just need to be a bit patient you know, go with a restart go with resetting your mission XML defaults or downloading the vanilla XMLs and uh, uploading over the top of the things you've been editing remember to validate those files with XML validation and JSON validator and uh, overall just have a lot of patience okay so hopefully that's helpful if it has been hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and I will of course see you again soon